everybody thinks that the Queen was at loggerheads with Diana, and that was possibly true at the very end. But at the beginning, the Queen was her chief supporter. She knew her. She was a little girl who grew up in her back garden in Sandringham. She'd known her. She cradled her as a baby. She was all in favor of Charles settling down with a nice young woman and getting rid of Camilla that the family disliked and were worried about. She was this married woman. They could see the scandal looming. So when Diana turned up at Balmoral after her marriage and was difficult, the Queen understood her. She called in psychiatrists from uh, Harley Street to help her to deal with her inner demons. She summoned the lords of Fleet Street to deal with the demons who were persecuting her on the street. When Prince Charles said, oh no, there's no need for you to go to Grace of, Grace of Monaco's funeral, you know, we'll send Princess Alexandra. Diana said, no, I'll phone the Queen. She phoned the Queen. The Queen said, yes, that's just the job for you. And right at the end, even when the couple separated, and Charles said, right, we're going to write her out of the script. She's balmy, no more Queen's flight for her, no more royal train. Get her staff out of uh, St. James's Palace. The Queen said, no, she's going to stay inside the family. Apart from anything, we don't want her outside the walls um, on you know, giving us trouble. So it was really only at the very last minute with her panorama interview when she questioned Charles's ability to be king and then, really, when she challenged the Queen, and after lots of talking about the monarchy being out of touch, said, I want to be Queen of People's Hearts, that was really the end. And at that point, the Queen snapped, sent her the letter, and uh, that was really when the Queen lost patience. But till that point, she was Diana's most fervent supporter because she realized that whatever she may in her heart feel, it was incredibly important to have a Princess of Wales to be mother to the boys and to keep the show on the road because at the end of the day, that's what the British monarchy is about, being in business.